Setting up Outlook for Maximum Productivity. Six suggestions. Number one, work from the folders view. I strongly recommend that you work from the folders list view. These are all the different modules in Outlook, but you have them in the folders list view up here. You've got tasks here, you've got contacts, calendar, your inbox, everything is in one place. So there's not a lot of advantage to go to each individual module here. You already have all those folders in the folders list view. Same thing with tasks. See, there's not much advantage when you click on tasks, these icons down here. There's not a lot of advantage to having that versus the folders list, which is always open. If I go to contacts, there's not, you know, there's not a lot of benefit to having this up here. Unless you have multiple calendars, that's the only exception. Folders list primarily is what we're going to want to work from this view. Number two, turn the large icons into small icons. What are the large icons? These big fat icons right here I'm talking about. They're kind of wasting real estate. If we're not going to be using them much, let's get rid of them. And here's how you do that. You just hover... And by the way, hover just means move your mouse without clicking. So you move your mouse until you see that icon right there. See, it's got a black triangle or an arrow pointing up and down with like a, a long equal sign in the middle. That's like a separation icon. When I click and drag down, watch what happens. The big fat icons turn into little tiny icons. And it frees up some more real estate here in case I have more files and folders I want to open up, I can see them all in one place. Nice. So again, hover, drag to make them big, drag to make them small, make them small. Number three, only show folders and calendar icons. We are going to get rid of everything we don't need down here. So we're going to keep folders, list view, and calendar. The only reason you keep calendar is if you have multiple calendars you can view them all together. You have to have this view in order to turn on and off the checkboxes. Okay, so go ahead and leave calendar but get rid of everything else. And it's not permanently deleting, it's just hiding. So the little triangle pointing down to the right of these icons here allows you to add and remove buttons one at a time but a faster way to do it is to just click and select navigation pane options. And then you've got these little check boxes. So I'm going to hide mail, contacts, tasks. The only two I want to show is calendar and folder list. And if you only have one calendar, you can hide calendar. But I'm going to go ahead and keep mine on. Click OK. And now that's all I have. We're going to go to the folders list view again. And that's basically going to be our home setup folder list, calendar, that's it. And we're going to be working 90 plus percent of the time in the folders list view. Number four, do not use the flagging feature. I do not recommend using the flagging feature in Outlook. When you right click on a task, for example, you can go to a follow up and add a flag to this thing and then it shows up in your to do bar. Email, you might have that little flag over here. Now, I just created this view to show you in this training, but I don't have this showing ever. But, you know, you can click on it, and then it's flagged for follow-up. The bottom line in time management is we teach how to gain control of your time. Flagging in Outlook contributes to getting out of control because it adds all these reminders to your to-do bar and that gets really confusing and brings you out of control, more out of control. So I am going to get rid of this whole, if you see these in your email, look, get rid of them. Just hide the column. How do you do that? Right click up here at the top, the column header name, right click and go down to view settings and columns. Click on that first box there. 
that is going to show you what columns are showing in this view and then flag status I'm going to remove that click OK OK and now it's gone that's what you want you don't even want to see the flagging column in any view for tasks or contacts you know you can select a contact and follow up I mean that's going to be up here in your home tab but you don't want to use flagging trust me as you go through this process in this whole program it'll make sense to you why we don't do that number five turn off don't use the to do bar use tasks instead I do not recommend using the to do bar that's right over here in this particular view I have it showing for purposes of this training but I normally don't have it showing at all so how do you turn that off so it doesn't even show up here so I can gain a little more real estate on my monitor simply go to the view tab and to do bar drop down off just turn that thing off because we don't need it with the system we're using we're using tasks instead so it is off now I go to calendar and if it's showing or even if it's minimized I want to turn it off how do I do that click on the view tab to do bar off gone if it's any other module if it's in contacts if it's in tasks oh this one's there I turned them on just for this training go to the view so check all your modules view menu to do bar off